guys how are you today uh, we're going to talk about a complete project to like uh, using what we have learned so far in uh, this series for BLC logic programming in a video series so as you can see this is our project I brought uh, to share it with you today so what we have here is like a, a filling bottle line uh, operation and logic of a filling and capping process you can see here like a start stop for the operation you can see the bottles and you can see conveyor and this conveyor uh, has been driven by the motor M1 and you can see some sensors here S2 and the S1, S1, S2, S3 and uh, you can see like uh, S1 it is uh, for proximity servo uh, proximity uh, switch uh, to sense the bottle is uh, uh, is uh, is there and uh, we need to like uh, uh, open the valve V1 here uh, to fill the bottom uh, the bottle and the, and then uh, the uh, bottle will continue for a uh, calving process by the piston V1 and the and sensor for the position of capping is S3, sensor for position of filling is S2. So here, uh, think with me uh, out loud, like uh, what we need to do is like, uh, we like should start the process by starting, the operator will start the uh, uh, process by starting the pressing the green uh, uh, push button, this one. So this is uh, the start of the process. So. What happened is I expect M1 will uh, energize, will be energized, and the uh, conveyor will uh, start moving, and the the button, uh, uh, the bottle, once it reaches to the position of S2, uh, the S2 uh, will send signal to the uh, motor to uh, of the conveyor to stop, and also commanding the uh, the the valve to open. And the once the valve V1 is uh, open, the filling uh, starts, filling process starts until reaching to the level, uh, which is sensed by the S1. Once S1 uh, uh, gives the signal, uh, now uh, we should uh, close the valve and continue the movement until reaching to the position of S3. Once S3 telling us, yeah, we can uh, work in a, a in calving process. So it commands the uh, piston uh, B1 to uh, make the cabbing for the bottle and then uh, continue uh, moving uh, the conveyor by energizing M1 uh, and keep the process uh, working, okay? So also we need to have one counter to count the, uh, the, the process they count the number of bottles. Uh, so, so far, uh, uh, I need to uh, put off the uh, process of counting because and the, and the timing. So, we'll just uh, make uh, a part of this uh, project. And then, after completing the counter and completing the timer session, uh, then we can uh, use the counter and timer for uh, a different project. So, here, everything we have. So the next thing is like uh, we need to identify, uh, identify our uh, input outputs. So we have, so guys, here we have a list of uh, the uh, IOs, list of input outputs. You can see here the start button, which is the green one, the stop button, which is the red one, for uh, requesting the process to start and stop at any time. For emergency stop, uh, will stop the process at any time. S1 a proximity switch uh, to represent the appearance of a bot uh, bottle at uh, the filling point, which is this one. The, I'm sorry, S2. Okay. And the S3 is the approximity uh, switch, uh, approximity switch to detect the bottle at the cabbing process. So this is S3 for cabbing, S2 for the filling, uh, and the S1 a level switch. Is to a level switch to sense the level of the uh, liquid in the bottle, which, which is uh, to, to, to sense this uh, this level. 
so uh, we need to uh, we need to the, uh, the to use these sensors uh, and also the motor uh, coil relay for the uh, uh, contactor of the uh, the uh, moi uh, for uh, energizing the motor uh, for run the conveyors and the uh, v1 for the relay for contactor to open the uh, valve and be the relay con uh, coil for the contactor for energize the uh, piston to retract or detract the piston I've done that here this one so now here we go to go into to our to our requirements so the requirement here the first requirement if a start is on no filling is in progress that means there is no bottle uh, at the uh, position uh, meaning sensor S2 doesn't see a uh, bottle and no stop is requested so the motor M1 for the conveyor will run so let's implement this part going to our simulator here so deleting the thing okay so this is our motor this is our stop as it is and this is uh, will be like the start button let's uh, let's make this one to be the start okay start and uh, this is the motor uh, so just latching but we need to make sure there is no uh, because this will continue if i run this one as you can see here i need to update the program like this if i need this uh, if i run this one like hitting the start button like here the motor will run all the way okay but as, as as we back to the requirement so in the requirement we need to continue running this motor but with a condition like uh, s2 is not there so i i need to add the s2 i will stop this one okay and just add the uh, another uh, the stopping switch which will be s2 i will make it like uh, this is for s2 I will name this one as S2. So if S2 is not here, so I I or no stop requested, S2 is not here, so the motor continue. Okay. So now I make it uh, like step by step with you to let you understand the whole process and how we are programming such a project. So now the motor continue run, but if the bottle reaching to that position. I showed you here this position. So if it will continue running and running until reaching to this position. So if the S2 giving a high signal, that means the uh, the uh, process shall stop. So if this is going to high, so the motor uh, will stop and the conveyor will stop at that point. Up till now, we fulfill the requirement. So let's move to the next requirement. So the next requirement here is like uh, if sensor two uh, which senses the location of the bottle at the uh, position of filling so if the S2 is on that means the, uh, uh, there is a bottle at a position to be filled so motor M1 will be stopped or off so what is that, that's what we already so uh, the uh, next one for the requirement is if sensor S2 is on that means filling process is in progress therefore valve v1 will be open so backing into our project here the requirement the third requirement says if s2 is uh, on that means the bottle is in position to be filled so valve should be open okay okay so that's very simple like 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 straightforward like we just want to say here in our program okay so we just like adding in another run if uh, s2 okay if s2 is like here s2 but for sure it will be uh, normally open contact s2 that means the valve v2 will will open so here we'll make another one like um uh, for the uh, motor 2 but it's not motor so i will make it like valve v2 so I will uh, rename this one to V2 
uh, that means this is for the valve. So, but with a uh, restriction for sure, we'll see in the restriction. So it will not uh, open forever. Like here, I will open until reaching to reaching to the uh, the fill position. So how I can uh, know how I come to know like uh, the bottle now is filled or not by using the sensor S1. So if S1 uh, uh, showing a, sig a signal like uh, uh, like uh, a high signal that means fill is, is on so I, I want to stop this process first I need to latch to continue this uh, this process okay to continue to continue the valve open okay so I just need to uh, put the valve here and uh, make it one uh, stop here which will be the uh, uh, like uh, this one will be the uh, switch S uh, is two, so I rename it like S two. So this will be S two. So so now S one stopped that guy, which is the conveyor, but S two will stop the filling process. Okay, so the filling process will continue once uh, I I see the uh, once sensor two sees the the bottle as a position of filling, and it will stop the filling. By closing this uh, this guy, which is the uh, valve, uh, based on reaching to the filling position. Let's simulate uh, so far what we have now. So just update the program. Yes. And guys, I think it is the time to uh, run this thing with the detail. Like here, you can see everything running uh, uh, without any stop, which is not correct. This one, like, uh, I'm sorry, we need to, uh, we need to make some fixing here. So this one, I, I, I will see this one as S1. Okay, for not confusing, S1. Okay, by S1. And stop also. We have not only S1, but we also have the uh, stop. Do we have many, many projects or just this one? So. So I, I need to, to use this as a stop. I have I have a start and stop I think. I did I didn't have a start and stop. Okay. Let's let's put off. So we have now uh, two stop. Uh, okay. So like we have no uh, two S1 here, so this is M twelve three or twelve one also M M twelve one. So I will see this M twelve one will be like rename to stop so now the conveyor will run until the stop requested or until this uh, this thing the s1 uh, sees uh, it is in, in the position of the uh, in the position of the uh, uh, cabbing or in the position of the uh, like i have two position the conveyor should stop like s3 and s2 so i need to have another one here i will call it m12.5 which is not here, so I will call it like S. Uh, like I will remove this one, so uh, I will remove this one too. Remove this one too. Uh, like uh, cabin sensor is three. Okay, let's make something cabin to be cabin. Okay, cabin process. And um, let's rename this one to be. More convenient like s1 which is the filling yeah so here we are at filling station it will stop stop requested or uh, cabin but this one so but but this one uh, but this one uh, for the uh, for the uh, valve to filling so we stop only when reaching to s2 i will move this one to be uh, this is this is should be uh, let's see the figure should be s1 now okay so this should be s1 okay and s1 is the uh, uh, level level of filling okay okay so this is living of filling and when it reach it to uh, each position so this will also uh, uh, stop the the valve and also another thing will stop the valve with with the, which is which is the stop because emergency stop will stop at any time. 
so uh, I think so far uh, we we can like uh, uh, up uploading the program. Okay. And and now we can simulate our program. Okay. So by simulating our program, we can see here in run mode. So in run mode, you can you can see all these stops like uh, 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 they are okay. So I need to start the process only. So if I start the process like this, so the motor will running until reaching to filling or stopping or a uh, carrying station. So let's test everything. So this one is like like if a stop requested from operator, that means. It will it will stop the process at any time, okay? And 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 return it back to this one. And if I reach into filling, so that means uh, the filling position reach it. So motor uh, now is not working, okay? Uh, oh, see here here's a conflict because a uh, yeah, that's, that, that's the merit of using simulator to know your error. So here, the one starting the uh, the valve is uh, for sure the filling. Uh, the filling position is one filling, it's one filling. So once I is starting the project again, okay. So like this one, when you see, you start the motor again. Go, go, go until reaching to the filling. So when filling uh, highlighted by sensor S1, so the filling started and the motor stopped until the filling uh, done. But when reaching the uh, level to the filling position, so what happened? What happened when we uh, reach to the filling position? So when the bottle uh, is filled, so uh, the, the valve will close, okay? For for not like uh, 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 overfilling the bottle and they make uh, any damage, and and it should be the other thing. It should be the process uh, to continue. Like it should be here. It should be here after filling. So it should be continue moving the motor until reaching to the cabin station. And that is what we'll see in the next uh, uh, part of simulating a, a, a great project like this. So thank you for watching and uh, let's meet in the next time. Thank you.